All right, we're going to check back in with uh, Sarah Freemark. She's been over at uh, Purdy's, who are getting set to open their store, Carlingwood and at the Rito Center today. Oh, oh she got the hat she's on. She got the too. chef's hat on. Looking professional. professional. I'm moving on up the ranks here at Purdy's <laughs> Chocolatier Shop at the Rito Center now. I figured as a going away present, we could put together a little box of chocolate. So I'd like you ladies to share with me some of your favorites. What, what, what comes to mind? I know I tried the maple earlier. With They're the hedgehogs. Chocolate. They're hedgehogs. Hedgehogs. You know what's interesting? We have had a number of people come by the shop here today and say that their favorite is the hedgehog. Now the thing is, being a chocolatier, when somebody orders a chocolate, you have to put it into the little container, right. and then like, there's a special way to flip it out. I haven't quite mastered that yet, so I'll learn it soon. Any other suggestions? I welcome them. If you tweet me some of your favorites, I will make a point of putting them together. Now, maple, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, and then if we head down here, we've got more, okay, I clearly need a little bit of work when it comes to separating the little cups. I'll get a breakdown, okay? At about 9.30, all right? But we can't forget that they've got all of the cream-filled chocolates at this end as well. Uh, each of these uh, being created every day in uh, Vancouver and then shipped here to the Rideau Center. So coming up next, we will show you not only how to put together the perfect gift box, but about how it is wrapped as well. 